we have no idea what we're doing. We couldn't even go buy a van the right way. I'm turning on this camera for three reasons. One, we bought a very expensive one at quarantine and we need an excuse to use it. Two, we're going to buy a van. And three, it's my birthday. And it's also AM. It is now several hours later. Do you want to explain what happened this morning? This morning, Heather went to try and pull out the last 2000 from the bank. While she was doing that, she was like, I can't find your bank card. We pulled up our bank account. There was like a bunch of charges that we had no idea of where they were from. They would be charges that we would do of like McDonald's and things, but it wasn't us. Well, don't say that, because like, <laughs> then they'll be like, you guys went there. No, but we didn't. Somebody stole it. Um, now we're running late to meet the guy, but that's nothing new. We're always running late. We should also point out that we didn't match on purpose. I picked my sweatshirt out last night. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Now we look like matching dorks, so. We're like two minutes away, but we had to stop to go pee and Kroger's apparently doesn't have a bathroom But since I'm old now, apparently this is the thing that we're gonna have to get used to doing is having to pee all the time And Mike has been old, so he also has to pee when he's out there pumping gas <laughs> So yes, we're on a mission to go find a bathroom and then we'll head over to the van because we're literally two minutes away Mike's doing an outfit change because he's embarrassed to match me when we go meet the guy Because we don't want to look like weirdos We already are weirdos found a bathroom in Home Depot, which is probably a premonition of how many times we're gonna have to go there throughout this whole van build. There it is. We're on van number two. That first one we went to go look at was absolutely terrible. So we quickly went on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and found another one. So we're in Delaware, Ohio now, and I think we're gonna get it. There it is. It's in a lot better shape. It's even got a roof rack. And the guy's actually super nice and is letting us borrow his plate, so we don't have to drive illegally, which is a win-win, but we're still going to take the back road, so it's going to be a very long drive home, but I am very excited about it. I want a big fancy car with the top back and shopping bags filled to the brim in the back seat. I'm going fast, spinning my wheels, keeping it real. We just got the van. I'm actually driving the van home right now. We're coming back from Ohio and heading up to Buffalo where we'll be able to park it and then start the van. Heather's driving behind me, I'm super excited, really looking forward to kind of getting into the van build. For what we were looking for, I think this checks all the boxes. It drives well. We're on the highway right now, nothing going wrong so far. hours later we are home we we're up around 3 45 this morning it's now 6 30. we're gonna kind of get settled in and then maybe take a look at getting everything in the van organized we'll check back in with you guys a little bit later talk to you soon good morning it is 4 30 but we've already been up for about half an hour so if today looks familiar, it is because it is going to be very familiar. For ownership of vehicles, you actually have to have a notary witness the signature. We didn't have that happen when we picked up the car last weekend, so we've got to drive back down another four hour trip to Ohio to get that taken care of today. So we'll see how that goes. And that starts now. If I'm being honest, Mike and I are super annoyed that we have to go all the way back to Ohio. And I know that we should have known that you need a notary, but in our defense, New York, you don't need that. So, lesson learned. <laughs> I know it's very dark, but that's our end. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Like shutting into the house because we forgot to turn off all the lights. We gotta get out, put our feet to the street. Find a way to shake this old routine. I feel like
like it's a night episode of Game of Thrones. You can't see anything. Yes, got the license plate, we have the title. They just had to have him sign in front of them, change the date, and they stamped it, so. We're good to go. We gotta get out, feel the heat. This is gonna be the best. It is now the next day. It was a very long drive home, but we're happy to be home and actually get to show you guys what the van looks like because it's been over a week now before we've even actually really looked at it. This van is a 2013 Ford Transit Connect XLT. We chose this year between 2010 and 2013 specifically because the ceiling in here is 10 inches higher than it is in the 2014 models onward. Me being about six and a half feet tall, we needed the extra headroom in order to be comfortable when we were sitting in the back. We actually have decided to name it Appa. You can see the <laughs> we already got a lanyard for it, so if any of you are familiar with Avatar The Last Airbender, you'll know that the characters were transported around on a flying bison that was white. Uh, we thought it kind of worked, so we went with that. And if you don't know Avatar The Last Airbender, why are you sleeping on that show? It's good. So we wanted to take this time to reflect back on that, what we were thinking for this for future watching back at this, I guess, because this is going to be kind of where we're keeping our memories. Kind of like the headspace that we were in, and I guess just to explain a little bit. The reason that we wanted to, to buy a van, and the way we were able to buy a van, is with the coronavirus lockdown, and in the interest of safety, we weren't going out, we weren't making trips. I think as things began to open up slowly, we were able to go on a couple of camping trips or hikes or things like that out away from people but we started getting the idea of getting a camper van with the Ford Transit Connect being smaller. It really kind of fit the bill for what we were looking for in terms of being able to, to drive in and out of cities. It wasn't super expensive. The conversion in the back isn't going to be terribly difficult because the space is so uh, small. Theoretically. <laughs> I would like to point out that we understand that we're incredibly privileged and throughout this whole process we've been fortunate enough to not have lost anyone due to the coronavirus, although there was a really close call, and to have been able to keep our jobs. I was fortunate enough to work overtime. So we were able to, to pay off a couple of things, some credit cards, our, our car payment, and actually start being able to put money into the bank. But in that saving process, we also realized that we would have the budget to to purchase a van, convert it, and be able to travel around the states, especially while coronavirus is still happening. We're not trying to to be irresponsible travelers. The coronavirus really forced us to look inward and to kind of reevaluate what we wanted out of life, and we really realized that we weren't happy with how our current life trajectory was going. So we were really forced to say, well, what do you do want? And for me, travel has always been something that I want. Coming from a very small town, I was always dreaming of where I could go. I'm gonna roll the windows down because I'm like actually dripping sweat. <laughs> but to get some airflow, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's really what my goal is right now in life to do is to just travel. And it really doesn't matter where, it's just all about new experiences and I don't know, I guess being together and doing that. That's kind of our goal moving forward is to be able to 
leave the bubble that we grew up in and see the world. So all that to say is we're really excited to see what this new chapter brings. We're actually not really big social media people. Like we don't put, we're what they call lurkers, right? I don't think we're, we find ourselves that interesting. Yeah, we're really not. During quarantine, we obviously watched a lot of YouTube and really enjoyed it. So yeah, and I think it's a fun thing to do. <laughs> maybe also helping us stop and take a minute to actually capture some moments. We have memories, which is obviously the most important thing, but just having something to to look back on and to be able yeah. to share with family and friends and yeah. and with you all. Just trying to say that if you're expecting something great, it's not going to be that, but... <laughs> we and, hope to have some fun with this. Yeah. Clearly we have no idea what we're doing. We couldn't even go buy a van the right way, so if you have any suggestions on that or anything with the van build, please let us know. But on that note, uh, typical YouTuber thing, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you are interested in seeing more of us. Yeah, if you're uh, interested in this train wreck. We'll continue to post videos whether or not anyone watches them. YouTube yeah. lets you post and store videos for free so you don't have to pay for cloud storage. Yes, which is also what we use Facebook for. Literally the only time we go on Facebook is to just dump our photos of like whatever event we were at. And so we're going to treat YouTube the same. And if somebody out in cyberspace enjoys watching this, you're more than welcome to. If you've made it this far and you're wondering who us two dorks are, I'm Heather. I'm Mike. And we're going to take on this crazy idea of van life together. So friends, fam, and fellow adventurers, we'll see you next time. I'm living my best life, living my, living my best life.